Hi everyone, this is Tootsie. Welcome to my channel. Um, today, I am coming with you because I am going to repair one of my very first custom lace front wigs. Okay, this was the very first lace wig that I had I had purchased. Okay, um, and that was like five and a half years ago. Was the first time that I had went into the whole lace experience um and I didn't know much pretty much I didn't know anything about laces at all I was looking at on YouTube and happened to run across someone that was wearing a lace front and it looked so realistic and then that popped to me oh that's what the celebrity you know be wearing they be wearing laces so I had searched and found the website and back then there wasn't a lot of companies offered that they offer today so you were very limited of what you could be able to buy and it had to be pretty much custom okay um and so I looked and I had found the rectable company that sold lace laces and I had put in my information as far as the circumference all the measurements and what what I wanted and everything so it had came up to five hundred and seventy five dollars so before I decided to pay that price I want to do a little bit of my research as far as this company and that's a very important um, <clears throat> fact if you're spending anything over two fifty three hundred on up People, do your research. Make sure that this is a rectable company, okay? And your Better Business Bureau, you can contact, and they will definitely give you that information, all right? So that's what I did. Found out that the company was, you know, on key, no bad feet, you know, no, no negative feedback. So I decided to go ahead and I ordered it. Got, um, it took six weeks. At that time, it had to take six weeks. It's not as all quick, fast, and hurry like things are today um, because it was a custom unit. So I waited six weeks and I received it. Very, be it was beautiful, very beautiful. Okay. So, but like I said, I didn't know much about. It. I did a lot of, lot of video watching of women how to apply, you know, the full lace wigs. And plus, there didn't, there wasn't a whole lot of no lace fronts. There was straight up full lace wigs. Okay, and that's what this was, a full lace. So not only did I had to learn the skill of being able to glue my front down I had to learn how to glue the nape area as well okay and it was a it was a chore <laughs> it definitely was a chore <clears throat> but where I ran into my problems at but not knowing and not so much educated at that time as far as how to be able to maintain the lace and everything for the glue and all that I am today I guess you have to crawl before you walk, all right? Witching, it's not a good idea. This message goes out to any of the new lace wearers. Go on to a cheaper unit first. Get the skill down pack, especially if you want to glue your unit down. Go to a cheaper unit. They have websites for sell wigs that you can buy a lace for 20 30 40 50 dollars try one of those out first get the practice learn they didn't have those options <clears throat> so widely open then than they have now because if they did that would have been my option but my options was not as wide range as it is now so I purchased it <clears throat> you gotta excuse me I just took some allergy medicine and it's trying to kick in um that it is now so I purchased it got it so I'm First of all, it was not only trying to learn about the lace, putting it on. It was about learning as far as the glue as well. So, um, I had my experience in, in far as glue. Now, this is the unit. Okay? It's a full custom cap. Alright? Now, I going to bring this wig back to life first of all do you see that here I'm going to come close on here 
real close so you can be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay. So you figure people might say, hey, why are you even going to bother with trying to bring this? First of all, if I was to throw this wig out, that's just like taking my $575 and throwing it down the trash. Throwing it in the trash, and I don't think so. I work too hard for mines, okay? And any, everyone should feel that way. If you put this much money investment into a, into a unit, this is what you're going to have to do. I've been having it sitting for, for a long time, and I decided, listen, I'm, I need to bring this wig back out and do what it do. And this is where... I'm going to work on now if I cannot it's another thing it's many skills that I've learned over the years as far as with hair if I cannot get this all off I am going to cut all of this and I'm going to take new lace because I've learned how to ventilate and be able to repair and restore um, wigs. That's something that I have been, I've trained myself. You could train yourself to do it all. Repair your wigs. You don't need to take your wigs nowhere for nobody to do it. You could do it yourself. I mean, you're going to make some mistakes and some bumps and grooves along the way, but you can get there, okay? It's going to take that in order for you to it to get to perfection. I would cut all this off. Hopefully, I'm hopefully I will not be able. I will not have to do this, but I will cut all this off and I will add new lace from here all the way around here. Okay, because all that right here is still lace. I don't get to that part until I get all the way towards the back of the nape. So you can be able to. I'm gonna turn this inside out. So you can really be able to see okay I don't get to all that so so all this from here from here to here okay is lace all right so I would cut from here all the way around until I get back over here and I would attach new lace and then that way I would ventilate some hair and be able to uh, bring this back. So, this trying to get this back is going to be my first try. First thing I do first, and I'm going to show you the products that I'm going to use in order to achieve this. First of all, I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with the uh, ice cream tubs. When you're finished with one of these, keep it because this is a very good handy tool for when you're doing work like this. Keep this. So I kept one of mine's, okay? And in that, I'm going to use some, some pure isotone. I'm gonna pour some isotone in here, okay? But before I do that, because this is what I'm gonna soak <coughs> the unit in, in the isotone. Now, before I do that, I'm going to spray it down with some Goo Gone, okay? Goo Gone is amazing. This stuff will be able to take off your glue, take the glue, all that caked in as glue. It's This is going to do the trick, okay? I'm going to spray this down first and then work it through, okay? And get as much as the glue off as possible, and then I'm going to soak it in the uh, pure um, isotope. But first, this is what I'm going to do. Spray it down all around from the nape to the front circumference. I'm going to spray it down and then take... My, I already did a video on that as far as uh, cleaning. I'm going to take the toothbrush and I'm going to sit and I'm going to get as much off, okay, and then I'll soak it. And then after I've gotten the lace, hopefully get the lace back to uh, in, good, in fair condition, I'm going to work on, see the hair and stuff is still... Look at that. I wouldn't I wouldn't even attempt to try to throw this this wig away. It's workable. You know, it's this is human hair. You know, you can work on would you your hair was needed some managing, would you take your head and your hair throw it away? No. So same thing. You know what I mean? It's human hair. You can be able to work with it. Work on it. It can be perm. You know, if the, if it's real tangly, then you do the bleach method. 
okay and the bleach method I'm not going to be able I'm not going to have to do with this unit because it's not tangly it's just a little straggly right now okay because I've been having it sitting for quite a few years and you know now I'm pulling it out and I'm working on it so there so what I'm going to do is take a perm and I'm going to perm all of the hair I'm gonna perm this up alright and then after I perm it wash it wash it and condition it real good and then I'm gonna put the curls in but I'm gonna go through these processes with you so that way you will know if you have an old human hair lace front or a full lace in your closet or wherever you store your wigs at you can be able to do this as well okay that's the reason why I'm making this video so we can go on this journey together so people pull them doggone wigs out that closet and get them back to life okay wear them I was thinking about it and I was like you know what and I'm gonna tell you this if you want to see me with this wig if you was to go to my page and look at my profile picture this is the lace that I had on okay this right here this is the lace all right so you can see just how beautiful this wig is I wouldn't even think about a tip to try to throw this wig away it's wearable and it's workable okay that's two key elements to keep in mind workable and wearable okay and that's what we're going to achieve. Go to the store, get you some goo going, get you a bottle of some goo going. Make sure you get the spray bottle because that way you can sit and you can be able to spray spray it on and it works better because they have it and just pour it too. But you don't want to do that. Just get the one with the spray bottle. And if you have a spray bottle at home and you can get the big bottle of this that you can just pour, then that's even fine. Okay, but just make sure you can be able to spray it on. And the uh, pure isotone that you're going to soak. You're going to soak the unit and make sure when you soak, okay, go like this, put a, uh, don't put it too tight, don't put the band too tight, and that way it can be able to lay down in the, and soak and everything can be able to, because you're not going to be able to do probably both, just lay it down this way, pin it up. And lay it down this way and then work on the front and then get the stuff off the front and then turn around and soak it again so that way you can get the back if you're working with the full lace okay if you're we're just working with the front lace then all you got to do is just worry about just soaking the front okay and make sure that the hair is not in the uh, solution all right and so that right here that right there is going to end this segment for now this is going to be part one okay just being able to start the process all right I've already went over what you need Google on pure ice pro and if you can get if you have one of these then fine then it got the little handle so you know whatever area you're working in just you know pick it up and, you know still work on it then that's fine if you have another bowl or whatever that you use that's fine as well okay it really doesn't matter as long as the results are are handled then hey it's up to you it's endless okay so thanks for joining me for now I will definitely be back I'm gonna go through this whole process with you guys so thanks for joining me I'll be back with you real soon bye <laughs>